Is the hype going to die for Tears of the Kingdom after the game's release? This is not a question I really found myself thinking that much about until a recent video by a fellow YouTuber named Mike Odyssey, one of our good friends. He's been on the podcast a lot. Good dude. You guys should go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he proposed a discussion piece today where he propo purported, anyways, that the hype is going to die out once the game releases. Videos are going to get less views. Theory videos are going to do worse, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I wanted to talk about that today because while I do think there is a modicum of truth to saying the hype is going to die, I think it's more so that the hype is about to shift in how we talk about Tears of the Kingdom. That being said, before I dive into my response, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and a Tears of the Kingdom pin from PAX East. To enter, just head down to the link in the pin comment or the description. The winner is drawn on May 12th, and they will be emailed. Thank you guys so much for entering. You are awesome and amazing. We're on our road to 133,000 subscribers as well, so I would appreciate if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so we can continue our journey to becoming all that we can be. Now, look, yeah, when the game comes out, things are going to be shifting a little bit, right? Up to this point, a lot of the hype around Tears of the Kingdom has been the mystery of the game, and I know it's leaked, right? A lot of you guys can go solve those mysteries for yourself if you want. So even things like, will there be dungeons in the game? Or, hey, how many different enemy types are there? Or, look, it looks like Korok seeds are back. Do we have 17,000 of those? Is Hetsu about to hand us two piles of golden poo this time? Maybe a bucket of pee? I have no idea, right? Like, th there's a lot of every little morsel that we could get for Tears of the Kingdom was newsworthy and would do well and get a lot of views. I would know this because my channel's been covering all of it, right? But I don't think that when Tears of the Kingdom releases, suddenly the interest level in Tears of the Kingdom content goes away. And I have some reasoning for this. And the reasoning is because, well, one, there's still going to be news on the game. <laughs> Let's just be honest. There's going to be sales figures, reviews, and, well, you know, DLC probably, right? We can speculate on DLC. We can speculate on the next Zelda game. Speculation around future Zelda stuff is never going to go anywhere. But what's going to happen is, and, and this is just my opinion, and I'm going to give you examples of this in a moment, the viewership's going to shift into, one, Zelda theories. And I want to be clear here, just because we can't theorize about what's going to happen in Tears of the Kingdom anymore doesn't mean that we're not going to have theories about Ze Tears of the Kingdom. You know why? Breath of the Wild came out. Ocarina of Time came out. Majora's Mask came out. Almost all the theories about every Zelda game in existence happened after the games came out. So sure, there's a lot of theories built around what might happen, but once it does happen, there'll be even more theories. Why? Because Zelda is nothing if not a game in a franchise full of a zillion plot holes and a bunch of unexplained stuff. Look at all the Zonai runes in Tears of the Kingdom. What did that spark? A whole bunch of theories. Look at the maidens out in the desert in the Gerudo area in Breath of the Wild. What did that spark? A whole bunch of theories. And this is just true of almost every aspect of the game. So, yeah, people are still going to be really interested in watching theory videos because they're going to want to see what people are thinking and piecing together from Zelda history to explain these things in the game and their potential additional meanings that go unexplained in Tears of the Kingdom. So viewership's going to shift towards there. There's also going to be lots of viewership of tips and walkthroughs and guides and just pretty much anything. Don't believe me? It is 2023. We are a little over a week away from Tears of the Kingdom being in our hands. Some people already playing it illegally. And yet, let's just type Breath of the Wild into YouTube, and then let's look at just videos in the last week. So, here we see uh, GameSpot. 21 more things you still didn't know in Zelda Breath of the Wild. 333,000 views a lot of views 
Moving on down. Yet another Breath of the Wild retrospective. 212,000 views. Oh, the Bread Pirate posting 26 more facts you didn't know about Breath of the Wild. 257,000 views. Oh, we're not done. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Iceberg Explained. Seven days ago, 48,000 views. Tears of the Kingdom Noob. Funny moments in the game. Hey, Tears of the Noob. Zelda Breath of the Wild Funny Moments. It was posted by uh, The Humble Noob. 88,000 views. A Concert. Posted by the Ensemble GAP, a 7,000 subscriber channel, did a two-hour Breath of the Wild orchestrated concert. 577,000 views. It's over. Breath of the Wild ending, 35,000 views. What's your favorite enemy from a small channel? 13,000 views. The most annoying things in Breath of the Wild, a short from a small channel, 35,000 views. Playing Breath of the Wild against Nintendo's will, 73,000 views. Uh, Wakataru, giant enemies in Breath of the Wild, 27,000 views. Uh, it just goes on and on. To the Castle, part 16, 80,000 views. And on and on, 483,000 views on a secret from Breath of the Wild six days ago. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Breath of the Wild videos are performing incredibly well on YouTube. Like, stupidly well in 2023. And you know why? Because Breath of the Wild became an evergreen title. One that people still buy brand new to this day, still experience for the first time to this day, and also stay relevant to this day. And that's what I think is going to happen Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know this definitively. The game isn't out. We have no idea what the next 6, 10 years, etc. of content creation around this game is going to look like. I can only guess. But I think Tears of the Kingdom views, and you guys let me know because a lot of you guys are watching my channel because of Tears of the Kingdom, are simply going to shift. They're going to shift from news into theories of things in the game that are unexplained, and then shift into tips and tricks, shift into glitches. It's just going to shift. The viewership's going to shift. I don't think the viewership's going to go away. It's going to shift. So instead of being like, oh, here's 10 new seconds of something, well, uh, everyone has the game now, so what are you talking about? Instead, it's going to shift into other areas. So I don't think the viewership's going to go anywhere. I don't think the hype is going to die. I think the hype is going to continue to slowly be there and maybe even grow over time because as word of mouth gets out and let's say this thing wins game of the year and it, let's say it gets rated as high as Breath of the Wild, gosh forbid it get ranks higher. What if this is a 98 overall game, not a 97? Like, holy crud, talk about shattering records. I think that we are in a world where Tears of the Kingdom hype isn't going to go anywhere for some time. Now, as a content creator, that's kind of cool. It lets me know I can keep making Tears of the Kingdom content for a long time, but I'm a, a news channel, right? So, we prioritize the news, but it is nice to know that, hey, every week I can still drop some discussion video, a theory video, a tip video, a trick video, um, a top 10, or like here's 20 things you missed in Tears of the Kingdom or something. You know, drop some interesting videos like that uh, and still keep the news going uh, and, and keep the Zelda ever present on the channel because Zelda is my favorite IP of all time and Tears of the Kingdom has a shot to become my favorite Zelda game of all time. So truly... I know I'm a little biased here, but I think just looking at what happened with Breath of the Wild sort of gives us the roadmap that I, I kind of disagree with, Mike. I don't think the hype's going to go anywhere. Of course, what I want to do now is toss this to you. Do you think that the hype is going to die out for Tears of the Kingdom after it releases? Do you think it's already dying out because of the leak? Or do you think it's just going to shift into a different uh, zone? Or do you think it's not going to shift at all and the hype's just going to remain and no matter what news we post about Tears of the Kingdom, everyone's going to want to watch. I have no idea. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.